Hello, friends and family. How are you? It is day 20 of praying for rain in Cape Town. We are believing God to do great and mighty things here in South Africa. We know that God can produce a miracle that has never, ever been seen before in the earth. That is what your Bible says in Exodus 34 and 10, that God will produce a miracle that has never been seen before. And in order to be a miracle, you have to be willing to be put on display for the glory of God. And you have to be willing to um, go ahead and let God display through you. A miracle is a divine encounter of heaven's power and realities working through you. And so today, I am believing for a miracle in this situation with the drought that God will miraculously begin to fill the dams, fill the reservoirs, and that the miracle working power of God will be demonstrated through the church of Jesus in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I have a special guest with me on the live stream, all the way from Houston, Texas, a little suburb called the Woodlands, pastor of the Way Church, Pastor Matt Woodfield. He is a powerful man of God, and I know now word for South Africa and my friends viewing. Hello, Pastor Woodfield. How are you? Good, Pastor Micah. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. We finally got connected. Amen. We're unstoppable like Jesus. There we go. I like that one. Go ahead and share on your heart what God has for you. Well, first, let me just say, Pastor Mike, it's an honor and privilege that you would reach out to me today, all the way from Cape Town, South Africa, all the way to the Houston, Texas area, the Woodlands, Texas. So it's my honor and privilege today just to minister for a few minutes because we're believing with, South, with Cape Town, South Africa, it's about to rain in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, as, as you requested that I would come on live and share a word with the Lord put in my spirit as I prayed, God began to remind me of the story in 1 Kings chapter 18 of the prophet Amen. Elijah. It hadn't rained for three and a half years. That's a long time. That's wow, drought. Yeah. And they needed yeah. rain, just like Cape Town, South Africa right now is in the need of rain. If God yes. would do it for Elijah in that time, in that day, God will do it for Cape Town, South Africa. And God gives yes. us principles in his word on how to get it to rain. So as we look at the yes, story sir. of Elijah, hadn't rained for three and a half years. The Bible says Elijah heard something differently. We must realize Romans 10, 17, faith. Everybody say faith. Faith, faith comes by hearing doesn't come yes. by seeing. Faith all begins with the sound. It all begins Amen. with the sound. And we're believing by faith that it's about to yes. rain in Cape Town, South yes. Africa. Why? Because we hear a sound. Faith a begins sound. with a sound. And therefore, Elijah, mm. it hadn't rained for three and a half years. But the Bible says, Elijah, 1 Kings 18, Elijah heard the sound of not just rain, but he heard the sound of the abundance of rain. And I believe Amen. God, I hear a sound all the way from Houston, Texas. Amen. I believe in Cape Town, sound. South Africa, you're hearing a sound, Pastor Micah. That's why you're doing these live broadcasts as you fast and pray for rain, because you hear a sound in the spirit that it's about Amen. to rain in Jesus' name. You Amen. know, before you see a locomotive, you know, we have a lot of locomotives, train tracks here. In the Houston area, my yeah. father-in-law actually works for a locomotive company. And before you actually wow. see the locomotive come, before you actually see it with your eyes, what do you, you hear the sound. You hear the sound of that locomotive, that it's on its way. Yes. But before you actually see the manifestation of the locomotive, it always begins with the sound. And so this morning, yes. let me encourage you. Yeah. Let me encourage the people of Cape Town, South Africa this morning. It all begins with the sound, the sound of faith. Yes. And I, I mm. hear that sound. You hear that sound. According to God's word, Amen. it's about to yes. rain, I declare and decree, in South Africa Amen. in Jesus' name. So after Do you know it's been, sorry, it's ahead. been three years since, uh, wow. since three years we've been, the drought started three years ago. 
Wow. Well, here we are. And God's word is true. And that's, he did it for a I know. And that's amazing. That's amazing because you're the first person to actually point out the three year um, situation with Elijah. Yes. And, and I you believe know, three, you're on I the love, right track. Keep going. Yeah, I love Pastor Mike. I love biblical numerology because I believe God speaks through numbers. He has a Bible a book mm. in his Bible called Numbers, right? And therefore, numbers yeah. have significance. And the number three we know with Easter coming up is representative of resurrection. And I believe Amen. it hadn't rained in three years, but it's about to resurrect and rain's coming. Why? Because we hear, by faith, the sound by of faith. the abundance of rain. So after you hear yes, that sir. sound, what do we do? Well, what did Elijah do? It hadn't rained for three years. What did they do mm -hmm. after they heard the sound? He sent his little servant out to go look, to look for the clouds because yeah. he heard a sound. Yeah. And therefore, we must yeah. be persistent like you're doing right now through prayer and fasting, understanding God's mm -hmm. word is true. It will not return unto us void. And therefore, we keep right. doing. We're persistent. We keep doing yeah. what we know to do according to the word of God because we hear the sound of the abundance of rain. So Elijah heard Amen. the sound and then he did something you know, faith without works is, is dead faith, but faith with corresponding yeah. actions is faith that is alive. And so Elijah sent right. his servant out to look. He went one time, you know the story, he went two times, no rain, no sign of rain. But Elijah heard mm -hmm. the sound of the abundance of the rain. And the Bible says on the seventh time, once again, another number. There. Right. The number number yeah. seven means completion. It is finished. Yes. And therefore on the seventh finished. time, Seventh time, he was persistent because Elijah heard the sound. You've been persistent in these live broadcasts with your team, praying and fasting, knowing you heard a sound Amen. by faith. It's been three years, but yes. it's about to resurrect. It's about to rain, and Amen. you're not going to quit. You're not going to give up until you see the rain. And Elijah Amen. sent out Amen. a servant not once. He sent out a servant not twice. Same report, but on the seventh mm. time, the seventh time, the servant came back with a different report. And the report was, mm. I see a cloud the size Come on. of a man's hand. Yeah. yeah and the yeah, Bible yeah. says, as the report came through to Elijah, because he heard the sound of the abundance of the rain, it began mm -hmm. to rain like it never rained before. Come because on, they saw they wouldn't quit. They wouldn't give up. They were persistent. I want to encourage you, mm -hmm. those that are watching, Let's continue to pray. Whatever it is, maybe it's rain, maybe it's healing in your body, maybe it's a breakthrough in your job, financial. Don't give up. Don't quit. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 9, do not grow weary in well-doing for in due season. Yes. You shall reap if you don't quit, if you faint not. When, you, mm -hmm. when you're considering and entertaining the thought of quitting, that's your due season. You're about to receive what you've Come been on. believing for because you wouldn't quit. You wouldn't give up. I like that. And so the report came through on the seventh time. Number seven means completion. And the report yeah. was, I see a cloud. I see a cloud the size of yeah. a man's hand. The hand yeah. of the Lord. I believe the hand of the Lord yeah. is on Cape Town, South Africa. And we see by Amen. faith right now because we hear a sound. And right now we yes. see a vision by faith. And we see a cloud yes. even coming today the size of of the man's hand. It's the hand yes. of the Lord. And it's about Amen. to bring rain on Cape Town, South Africa, a rain like you've never experienced before, the Come abundance on, of rain in Jesus' name. In I believe Jesus. things are about to turn around, Micah, there in Cape Town, South Africa. Amen? Because Amen. you wouldn't quit, because you wouldn't give up. You heard the sound of the abundance of rain. You had faith to keep doing what you know to do, praying and fasting. And now we're going to begin to see with our eyes. We're going to see the clouds come in. And it's the hand oh, of Jesus. the Lord. You know, Amen. on Wednesday, on Wednesday, it's very interesting. We're having this conversation today because there is no Hebrew word for coincidence. I believe this is a divine yeah. appointment today because on Wednesday, Amen. on the Jewish calendar, God is a Jewish God. And therefore, he has a Jewish calendar. And on Wednesday is the celebration of the appointed time of the Feast of Purim. What is the Feast of Purim? Mm. It's the story of Esther. The only Bible in the book, the only book in the Bible that God's name is never mentioned once. 
is in the book of mm -hmm. Esther. His name is never mentioned once. But in the book of Esther, as we read the story of Esther, we see God's hand at work. And the Jewish people even call it the hidden hand of God. And on Wednesday, yeah. the Jewish people celebrate the turnaround story through the hidden hand of God. As the enemy, Haman, yeah. came against the Jewish people, Esther and her people, to try to annihilate them, to try to take them out, just like the enemy wants to do with us, just like the enemy wants to do with the people of Cape Town, South Africa, through drought. But you know mm -hmm. what? We see the hidden hand of God. We hear hidden the sound of, of the abundance of rain. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We see the hand of God. Yes. We see a cloud the size of the man's hand. And God is about to Amen. turn our situation around. Turn it around. Wednesday yes. is the celebration of the hidden hand of God. It's the celebration of Purim on God's calendar. It's a celebration of the turnaround story. I'm believing God, Pastor mm. Micah. God Amen. is turning things around in Cape Town, South Africa. I hear, along with you yes. and those watching, I hear the sound of the abundance. Not just rain, but the abundance of rain. And we're yes. not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep praying. We're going to keep fasting. We're going to keep standing. And so we see the manifestation yes. of our prayer because we hear Amen. the sound of the abundance of rain. And God is about to turn our situation around in Jesus' Amen. name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, in Hosea, I want to drop this one scripture, Pastor Micah. Uh, Hosea Go chapter ahead. 6, I looked it up. Hosea chapter 6, verse 3. This is the declaration as we stand on God's word. Believing God, it's about to rain. And we hear the sound of the abundance of rain. But in Ho Hosea mm -hmm. chapter 6, verse 3, it says, Then we shall know the Lord. We shall know the Lord. We know the Lord. And we know he can do anything. Yes. And the Bible says through the prophet Hosea 6, verse 3, then we shall know the Lord. He shall come unto the people of Cape Town, South Africa. He shall come unto yes. his people as rain. He's going to come, come unto the people of South Africa, Cape Town, because you've heard the sound of the abundance of rain. He's going to come unto you as rain. And when you see the rain, as God turns the situation around, as you see the rain, mm. you know it's the hidden hand of God. And you know God has shown up on yes. the scene, and God has turned your situation around in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Can I pray right now, Pastor Micah? Go ahead. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray right now, right now. In the name, I feel the Holy Ghost right now on this broadcast. Oh, and right now, I sense the Spirit of God. As we hear differently yeah. today, we hear the sound of abundance of rain, Cape Town, South Africa. Amen. And right now... Yeah. The Bible says one can put a thousand to flight, but two in agreement can put 10,000 to flight. We're going to pray the prayer of yeah. agreement right now, all the way from Houston, Texas to Cape Town, South Africa, all the way to those Amen. that are watching yeah. this live broadcast. We're going to pray together right now. And through the prayer of agreement, we have power because we hear the sound of the And God is going to turn yes. our situation around. And we're going to see Amen. God show up in Cape Town, South, South Africa, according to Hosea chapter yes. 6, verse 3, as rain in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we come before you in the name that's above every name that's named, the name of Jesus. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, it hadn't rained for three, in the, three years, Lord, just like in Elijah's story. But, Father, you're no respecter of persons. What you did for Elijah, you'll do for us. As we stand on your word, believing by faith, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. We hear, Lord, according to your word, we hear a sound. And it's the sound of the abundance of rain, that it's about to rain abundantly in Cape Town, South Africa, like it's never rained before. Yes. Father, we're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We're going to be persistent to stand on your word, even if it takes seven yeah. times, Lord. Father, we know nothing is impossible for you to those that believe. Today, we believe by faith. We're praying. We're fasting. And God, we thank you, Lord, that it yes. shall surely come to pass. It shall surely rain Jesus. in Cape Town, South Africa. You're going to turn our situation yes. around, God. So, Father, right now, we yes. see by faith the hand of the Lord. We see yes. the hand, the size of a cloud, Father, coming to Cape Town, yes. South Africa right now. And, Father, we yes. declare you're going to show up, Father, 
as the prophet Hosea chapter 6 verse 3 declares, yes. you're going to show up as rain to the people of Cape Town, yes. South Africa. In Jesus, Jesus. name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Thanks again, amen. Pastor Micah, for having me today. Amen. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you want to tell them how they can get in touch with you or find your church yeah. if they're in Houston? I have some friends over there. Yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, we're right outside of Houston, Texas. Uh, it's a community called the Woodlands, Texas. We call it the Promised Land. If you've ever been in the Woodlands area or if you'd like to travel here, we'd love to have you come out and worship with us at the Way Church. We're right as you come into the Woodlands on Interstate 45 at the Gateway to the Woodlands. And our services are on Wednesday night at 630. And then on Sunday morning at 11, you can catch us on Facebook Live every Sunday morning at 11 and Wednesday night at 630. So if you're in this area, we'd love to have you as our guest to visit the Way Church. I promise you, you'll feel right at home. Praise God. Well, thank you so our much, website, Pastor. By the way, our website is oh. waychurch.org. Yes, waychurch.org. Thank you so much for coming on today and being a blessing. And my wife and I, we just love you and your family and your church. And um, what a divine appointment. My wife Amen. and I were actually just talking about Noah before we talked to you earlier today. And I was like, yeah. it, has, it can happen. It can spring up. And I said, yes. when he said that, I knew something was going to happen on the live stream. Yes. Amen. It was going to be Lord powerful. Yeah. So, Thank you, Pastor Mike. Bless you. You're welcome. Bless you. Have Steve a great yourself. day. Go. You too. Thanks, Pastor Mike. God bless. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, family, I want to just thank you for coming in today and um, checking, uh, praying with us for rain in Cape Town. And um, we just want to release a blessing over your life. Father, I thank you for the people listening under the sound of my voice. Make them a miracle. Make them a, a, a powerful tool, a powerful arrow in your hands, oh God, and release them to hit the mark every single time. I thank you for opening up doors that they're their head, not the tail, above and not beneath. And I thank you, Father God, that great things are going to come. In Jesus' name. We love you, Conchita. And then I want to thank Coffee Therapy 25 Durbanville in Cape Town for allowing us to meet every single night in the month of February, believing and praying for rain. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place, Apostle Joshua Fowler is going to be on with us praying over Cape Town, South Africa. All right, we love you guys. Blessings. Have a great day. Bye-bye.